Behind every hit song is an undeniable beat. So why doesn't anyone talk to the drummer about it? We're getting behind the kit with some of the best drummers in North America. This is Drummer to Drummer. How much press do you do compared to Max? Well, to give you an idea, I have this whole window of time open because I'm doing nothing. So, very little. And uh, I appreciate that. But someone needs to do this. I was just basically filling your day. I felt really bad. I've seen you through different, you know, through the evolution of our Kells and you as a drummer. Um, and, you know, seeing you in clubs, but then seeing you at an arena. Does the psychology of your drumming approach change in terms of, you know, you're used to playing to people that you can see their face, but now you have to play to thousands of people and play to that last row in the arena? Definitely your approach changes. I think in the same way any drummer will play to a room, just because, you know, by the time it takes for sound to get back to you, you kind of adjust a little bit. There's that element to it. Uh, as far as reaching to the back, it's almost easier when you can't see everybody. When everyone's like staring you right in the eyes, you kind of feel that. And then, and then when, when you can't really see faces or you're blinded by light, it's a little easier that way to kind of just remove yourself and then, uh, you know, I kind of just swing for the rafters, so to speak. And, and, you know, Max does a great job of sort of wrangling everybody in there and just try and hang on for the ride. <laughs> You know, listening to you as a drummer for a really long time, I find you have, uh, you know, we come from this, these glory days of the Southern Ontario music scene. Sure. Um, do you find you are influenced as a drummer by the, the Peter Kerpans or the, you know, the whoever's of the world who kind of shape that scene on the drums? For sure. I think as a kid growing up in that area, you know, it's like you kind of just leech on to anyone you can to try and get advice or, uh, you know, try and see what it's like in their shoes. And, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think I think people generally are regionally influenced, regardless of you know if you're growing up in Chile or something, and it's like you're going to find local guys that are doing something you want to be doing, and, and try and I hate to use the term leech, but kind of learn from them and, and, and figure out how they got where they are, you know, sort of absorb their their uh, you know their take on it. You guys are very um, talented and have this really long list of songs that are must-haves pretty much every show. Um, I'm not sure how you guys read set lists, but I assume that you have to play those hits every night. What do you do as the drummer to keep things interesting when you know you have to play those songs hundreds of times a year? It's not so much what you're playing. If people are like really reacting and feeding back to you, then that makes it fun. So, you know, The Boss is Coming from our first record is still fun to play when the crowd's going off. And it doesn't, you know, I mean, I kind of look at the whole show and it's like I might throw fills in slightly different every night just to, to see if I can, see if they'll land, uh, and, and you know, make it interesting for myself at any given moment. All set? I gave you the bass drum on the end there. Nice. And I forgot. And I forgot. <laughs> <laughs>